Welcome to a new tutorial for the Amigumi calendar 2023. It is a new month and it is March. So we are going to crochet the crocus together. For this project, you will need some cotton yarn. I'm using Karma from Creme Casole Wool. It is a recycled cotton yarn, which I love. And you'll need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and a darning needle. You also need to know how to crochet a magic circle, chain stitches, single crochets, increases and decreases. The pattern is found inside the Amigurumi calendar of 2023 that is available on my webshop, both in physical, which is currently on sale and as a digital download. So if you prefer to follow a written uh, pattern, go and grab it from there. But yeah, let's get started. The first color you need is color F, which is the green one. We are starting off by making the stem of our crocus whoops let's start off with a magic circle with six single crochets I always make two chains and then in the second chain from the hook I make my six single crochets. But you can use whatever magic circle method that you prefer to make or to do. So one, two, three, four, five and six. And for the next five rounds, we are going to crochet six single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch. So this is how it looks like after five rounds with one single crochet in each stitch. On the seventh round we are going to start off by making seven chain stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Then we are making six single crochets down the chain, one single crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is now our tiny little leaf. After that, we are going to crochet six single crochets around the stem. So one, two, three. four, five, and six. 
And on round number eight, we are crocheting six single crochets. So one in each stitch again. And ignore your leaf. Like so. Then we are going to change color to G, which is the purple color. So let's back one step and pull through the purple yarn. And then we crochet on round number nine, one single crochet and one increase. Repeat that three times until you have nine stitches. So one single crochet, a increase, and repeat that two more times. We are going to crochet two single crochets, one increase and repeat that three times until we have 12 stitches. If you want to, you can cut out the green yarn because we don't need that one anymore. And you can tie it together with the beginning of your purple yarn and poke it inside your flower. Okay, so for the next two rounds, we are going to crochet 12 single crochets. So one single crochet in each stitch. two rounds with 12 single crochets, one in each stitch. On round 13 we are going to crochet two single crochets and one decrease until we have nine stitches. So one, two, and a decrease. I like to use the invisible decrease that are made in only the front loops like so 
and then repeat that two more times. That was the last decrease. On the next round, which is round 14, we are going to crochet one single crochet and one decrease until we have six single crochets left. Before you do the last step of the last decrease, we are going to change colors. So instead of pulling through the purple yarn, we are going to pull through the orange yarn. Like this. And the final round, six single crochets, one single crochet in each stitch. Like this then we cut off the yarn and um, you don't need to save that much because we are going to wave in all the yarn ends and now you don't need green or orange orange anymore so you can put those yarns away Pick out your favorite needle, a good needle always make the assembling easier and more just pleasant to do. Let's try that one. These two yarn end we can tie together and just poke them inside. Try our best. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull them through with the hook instead. I think this might be easier. Yeah. So now we just wave in the green yarn from the beginning and the orange at the end.
And to finish this off, I like to wave the yarn through the front loops and then pull, pull the yarn in. Then you get a neat and tight finish. And if you want to, you can put a little bit of stuffing inside. Uh, I am going to skip it because it's just a tiny small piece, but you can do it if you want to. Sorry for <laughs> telling you about that this late. But yeah, this is how it looks like our stem and the middle of our crocus. Now the parts we have left is flower petals and we are going to make three flower petals with purple yarn so let's start off with a magic circle with six single crochets One, two, three, four, five, and six. And on the second round, we are going to crochet six increases until we have 12 stitches. So one increase, two increase, and four more increases. We are going to crochet one single crochet and one increase and repeat that six times until we have 18 stitches. So one single crochet, one increase and repeat that five more times. like so on the next two rounds we are going to crochet 18 single crochets which means one single crochet in each stitch
on round number six we are going to crochet four single crochets and one decrease and repeat that three times until we have 15 stitches. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease. And repeat that two more times. On the next round, which is round seven, we are going to crochet three single crochets, one decrease, repeat that three times until we have 12 stitches. which is round eight. We are going to crochet two single crochets and a decrease until we have nine stitches, which should be three repeating times. So one, two, and a decrease. Whoops. And repeat that two more times. Okay, we have arrived at the last round. And on the last round, we are going to crochet one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat that three times until we have six stitches left. forgotten one two three four five one two no sorry one two three four five six okay now we cut off the yarn save a little bit approximately maybe 20 centimeters so that we can attach the flower petal to our flower stem and wave in the yarn at the beginning and after this we make two more petals so that we have a total amount of three flower petals. and then we are ready for assembling. Okay, so this is now our three flower petals and we are ready to assemble our crocus. And the only thing you need to do is to sew these on between the color changes on the stem. So where the color changes from green to purple, we will attach the flower petals and they will cover each other a little tiny bit 
so that they will all fit. And if you have a lot of spare yarn, you can actually use the same to assemble all of the petals. I will, I think I will do so and then I will just wave in the spare yarn ends afterwards. If you don't want them to flare out as much, uh, secure them with a couple of more stitches. So let's poke through here and then the flower petal from the inside. And through the middle again. Just to make them a little more tight and snug to the middle part. Like this. Then we just wave in the yarn ends and we are finished. This is how the crocus, our spring flower, look like when it is done. The pattern is found as always inside the Amigurumi calendar of 2023. You will find it in my webshop both in physical form which is on sale currently and as a digital download if you prefer that one but yeah thank you so much for watching this tutorial and crocheting together with me i will see you in the next video bye